In this video, we are going to talk about how to do measurements in Costex. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Naresh Punia. I am a project quantity surveyor at AECOM in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to do 2D measurements in Costex. If you are new to the channel, then I have already made some videos on Costex. It will be linked somewhere here. You can also access them by looking at the Costex playlist. So without further ado, let me take you to the computer screen to show you how it's done. So I'm in the interface of Costex and I've already gave a command to upload the drawing. And now I will just rename it. In the last video, I talked about that it's better to rename it and it's better to put it in a folder. But now I'll tell you one step ahead. So first you'll put the plans as the first folder. And inside the plan, you will put backslash, right? Backslash will make a subtree, right? So you put it architectural and then you insert it, right? Now you see here, plan is the parent folder and the child folder is architecture. So you can have these levels that will help you to see your drawings in a more efficient way, right? So now first thing what we need to do is we need to change the scale. The scale is 1 by 200. So I'll go to the drawing. I'll see here. I'll check 1 by 200 here and then I'll update it, right? And once it is done, I'm just going to check one of the dimension whether I'm getting it right or not. So I'll put it here to here. It's not giving me the right dimension why oh I put it 1200 oh it's 200 so let's put it 200 and then update it this is a mistake that you can do so you have to double check and this is the column that I have here uh, you can change the columns from here I have put it a tick here so it is showing me there you can also show title number revision whatever information you put while you are uploading the drawing but I just want the scale so that I can quickly check it in check for all these errors right so now the scale is set to 1 by 200 now this is 6.15 it is coming as 6.14 so it is more or less correct right now in today's video we are going to talk about three major things that we will be doing the first thing will measure the area the second thing will measure the length and the third thing will count, right? These are the most basic measurement that you'll do in cost. So we'll cover all of that in this video. Now let's start with the easy one. We'll just go for the count measurement, right? So let's say we are measuring the count, right? So this is the door. We don't have the details in an ideal world. I'll have a drawing which have the door and window schedule, which have the detail and this door will also be marked. But for now we are just seeing that what is the length of this door and then we'll assume some height we'll just demarcate it by the length so I'll, i'm just typing m uh, here i'm looking at it the structural opening is 900 so for now i will be marking it as 900 mm wide door right so how to do it the first thing that you need to do is you need to create the dimension groups right how do you create the dimension group? You go to dimensions and then you add. Then you'll have this option to add the details of your dimension group. Remember, all dimension groups should have a unique name, right? So now I am going to put it the name as door D1. And I'm also writing because uh, we don't have the information about the door D1 here. I'm just writing here uh, 900 mm wide. Uh, wooden we can play in the folders to have it a better structure so how we are going to put it in a folder we are first going to put it in like uh, let's say door and then we'll add the same backslash you'll find this backslash above the enter key right so you'll do the backslash and then you'll do wooden doors right then we are not going to measure the area we are going to measure the count then you add count here and these are the dimensions like so this green is the positive dimension this red is the negative dimension we are keeping this as it is so we'll insert it so now we are in a mode where everywhere we'll click we'll get one count right but we don't want to count the wall right control z so this is done now 
I don't want to do this measurement in line. I want to do this measurement in point, right? Line mode and point mode where we use, we'll talk about it in some other videos. But for now, let's put it a point. I'll put it a point. I put it here. So this is one dimension. This is second door. Now this is probably third door. This is the fourth door and so on and so forth, right? You can do all these measurements. You can count the numbers like this, right? So you put it here, you put it here. I was assuming that all of these are D1, right? Door D1. So you can do the measurements like this. Let's do one more. So 10 measurements we have done. So there is a faster way to do count measurements as well. We will talk about that in further videos. But for now, I just want to talk about the basics. I don't want to overwhelm you. Now the second measurement that we'll do, or we can delete the standard, right? We already have a measurement group by doors and wooden doors and uh, inside it we have the, our measurement. So we can delete it. Now let's put another dimension group. Here I'm putting the dimension group as, uh, what are we measuring? Maybe we are measuring the masonry, right? So we'll not have doors here. We'll probably have structural and we can have masonry or we can just have masonry for now we can have masonry and then inside masonry we can have uh, we are assuming that this would be a block work of 100 mm and then here we can say 100 mm block work right this is how we are going to define it for now and this is not going to be area measurement this is going to be a length measurement so we are doing here so now let us assume that this is the 100 mm block work right so we can also check here, we can type M and measure from here to here, it is coming to be somewhere around 100 mm. So we'll measure it as 100 mm wall. So how we do it, we click here and here. This is one way of doing it, right? You can also use line measurements here, right? But it's not snapping, this drawing is not made properly, otherwise it's snapped till the edge. So for now, we'll stick to the point measurement, right? Okay, this is one way of doing this measurement. If you do here, it will not kind of let you, you have to click somewhere around that corner to do it. But a better way is you measure the all lengths which are like con continuous in one go, right? How to do it? Let's do it for another room let's say we are doing it for the store right so we click here one then you click at the edge then we put the control right once we put the control we have a continuous measurement and we are just doing the length measurement we are not doing any other measurement right so we are just doing the length measurement we can go here as well and we can just click here right whenever we are doing the measurement it is already updating here right so this is another measurement that we can do, we can do this length measurement. We can also calculate the square bit of this block work here by finding the height. But for now, we'll keep it simple, we'll just do three measurements, count, length and area. Okay, now let's do the area, right? Now for area, let's say we are measuring the floor finishes. So let's say we are saying here finishes as one folder and then it backslashes floor finishes and here we can probably say tile and then we can insert it right we don't know whether it's a vitrified tile or whether it's some other tile whether it is a carpet tile we don't know any of it for so we are just keeping it as tile now this is an area measurement i have not done any changes for the other one i have selected whether it's a count measurement or length measurement, but here I'm not doing that. Here, I don't even need to press control. It'll do on its own, right? Now I'm using the point measurement. I'm doing here, I'm going here. And in the last, if you don't want to do it, you press enter. It'll auto complete and it'll give you the area, right? This area, they are saying it's 13. For us, we are getting the area of 14.42. Maybe they are not measuring it. If we want to change that, we can do that. We can just do it here, right? Now we are matching, right, with their area, 13 square meter. Now let's 
try the same thing in inline measurement oh it's not snapping like if you have pdf drawing or an autocad drawing we created properly then it will snap to the edge and then you can do the next measurement then you can do the next measurement for now we are sticking to the point measurement right we'll do here go to the edge come here do here and then for the last we'll just press enter you're not selecting anywhere so this is how you can create these uh, measurements you can also add these measurements to your workbook you can also export them you can do a lot of things we'll explain all of this in our further videos uh, so this was a little something about how to do the 2d measurements in costex i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video